Having off-meta man-beating routes is something that you need in every single offense in Madden 23. With this meta, you can never really prepare for straight-up man, a heavy zero blitz, or sometimes you're facing players that will drop their outside corners into zone, but play man on the slots and the tight end and the running back. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a route that should get you first downs a couple times a game if you mix this in in your own offense. Let's get into it. What is up, guys? Dan for the Zaman YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the post corner route. For this video to work, you're going to want either an outside apprentice receiver or you guys are going to want a hot route master. Most of you probably are using the hot route master in one form or the other. So let's go ahead and get into this. You can run this uh, pretty much out of any play that has an outside receiver. So this does not apply to compression based plays unless your play has a stock post corner by default, which Actually, one of the most popular plays in the game has one of those. So let's go ahead and show you guys how this works. Um, we are going to basically get man-to-man -man coverage in general, isolate an outside receiver. I think it's really important that you guys have these isolation routes away from the user in the middle of the field because a lot of players want to funnel most of the action inside to the user. Now, the really cool thing about this is that this is a route that no matter how your opponent shades, will win very consistently for you. So um, to put a receiver on a post corner, you're just going to basically hit the Y button or the triangle button, pull up your hot route menu, choose the receiver, and then you're going to hit up on the D-pad. It's that simple. And with this particular route, you're going to basically know that on the second cut, if you throw this as basically a down pass lead and slightly outside, so in this case, we're gonna be throwing the ball to about seven o'clock to Herman Moore, you will be able to click on and catch the ball underneath the man coverage. Man coverage does not guard this route very well at all. So you're gonna see here, I just throw this down and outside and we can make this catch on the sideline. Now you saw that Herman Moore lit up right there. That's because he has the free mid out elite. You do not have to have this ability uh, to make this work. In fact, um, really, once you start to realize how this works, you're just gonna kind of throw these balls. Um, if you have it, it's going to be, you know, perfect. You know, you're gonna very rarely ever have this dropped uh, or intercepted through you. But really, I mean, this comes down to um, the ability to throw the ball outside. Now, if you want to, you can freeform this a little bit uh, to help lead this further away from the DB. You don't necessarily have to. Um, you see, it doesn't necessarily help too much. Um, the other thing that I want to break down is that the hash mark that you're on kind of dictates where the DB plays. You notice that when I was perfectly in between the hash marks, it felt like it was a little bit tight. Um, but I kind of want to show you guys here that really, if you put this on the short side of the field, it actually gets really more open. You see how I can actually catch and box out the DB a little bit better. Um, it's going to be something that you can throw pretty routinely. Now you could do the same thing to the other receiver on the wide side of the field. Again, I think it's going to come down to your, um, throw power on something like this. It, it can definitely be a tougher throw to the wide side of the field. But again, there's the first cut, then the second cut, and then you're just going to throw the ball down and outside make a catch uh really the only opportunity that your opponent's going to have to stop this is if they're playing like the shaded down man-to-man -man coverage in which case you know that's going to be tough to throw underneath because they are basically playing trail technique um and you see right there that that could be a little bit tougher so in that situation if they are playing the shaded down man you need to be able to identify that and just go up top on a regular streak because you're going to be able to just throw it right by them. So um, not a lot of players are playing shaded down, especially without a deep half over the top. But just kind of be aware that that is something that you'll you'll want to pay attention to. What's up, guys? Zan here. Just wanted to say if you're enjoying this video, could you do me a quick favor? Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. And hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload every day, Monday through Friday. If you guys want more, go to my strategy website, gridirongameplans.g. For $9.95 a month, you unlock everything on the website. That's regular vault updates at least once, but more often than not, multiple times a week. And all offensive and defensive game plans at no additional charge with access to our members-only Discord server, where we have private lab sessions every Wednesday night. So go over to gridirongameplans.gg. Otherwise, back to the video. Before we get into some more advanced breakdowns of what the defense might do against this, I want to show you guys the difference when you run this to the wide side of the field isolated. Um, and that is going to be that you actually have another window to throw this, and that is going to be the first cut. So what you're going to see here is if you kind of throw this down on the first cut, it actually allows you to click on and break this off like a post route. Um, in Madden traditionally throughout history, DBs 
will kind of cheat. They they know what the route is. The DBs are not stupid, especially this year. They're kind of coded to, you know, know where the ball's going to go. Um, so in the case of a double move, you'll actually note that when you're throwing it to the wide side of the field, they'll actually tend to stay off to the high and outside shoulder in man coverage. So this provides you the ability to kind of throw this as a down inside pass lead and uh, be able to click on and make it a post route, which is kind of cool because um, the break of that first post is very similar to the break of, say, like a slot apprentice post, say the one that we're running right here to um, Steve Smith. And, and in all actuality, it actually gets upfield a little bit better. Um, the angle is further and steeper upfield. So what you can do is throw this with a little bit of anticipation on this first cut, let him get into the route, click on, get inside position and catch the ball. Again, you see right there, I've got that mid out elite on Herman Moore, that's gonna make this a little bit better. Honestly, I do think Herman Moore with one AP short and elite plus the free mid out elite is arguably the best receiver in the game right now, just because it allows you to kind of open up your route tree and get a little bit more catching traffic. I will kind of advise you guys, this is a little bit more of a dangerous throw. Again, to the wide side of the field, it can be a little tougher. Um, you're gonna to wanna to throw this with some anticipation on that first cut. Um, but you see, if your timing is off, you can throw some interceptions. So practice this particular throw. Otherwise, stick to the second move and throwing that down and outside and boxing out, which looks a little bit more like this. So you're going to see that he has that first cut, and then we're just going to throw it right on that second cut and just box out. A lot easier, a lot safer. You actually can pick up a little bit more yardage on it. Um, but obviously, you know, if somebody's blitzing you and you need to get the ball out, this is a throw that you might consider having in your arsenal. Now, let's go ahead and get into what a lot of players will do from a defensive perspective. Um, you know, when you're playing a more advanced player, nobody just sits in stock cover one or stock cover zero. A lot of players are gonna get kind of hybrid with it. Um, one of the common things you'll oftentimes see players do is they'll play kind of zones on the outside and man on the inside, and then they'll, you know, drop their linebackers into like flats, right? So you'll see, you know, you'll see stuff like this where they'll just kind of man up people um, you might, you know, see them lurk in the middle of the field on a safety. You might see them on a linebacker, uh, just kind of lurking, you know, Texas routes or slants or, you know, slot apprentice posts, but really, you know, playing something more like this. Now, what you're going to want to do when you face this is just relax, just relax, because this route is still going to get open. Um, you know, if they're dropping a linebacker into the flat, you might want to swing or flare the running back out to the flat to pull down any potential flat zones. But again, this second move is going to be the money throw for you. Again, you see that you can kind of throw this as a down pass lead. Notice how many times in this video that free mid out elite has guaranteed the catch. Um, I just want to kind of illustrate that for you guys um, as you play through this. Another thing you might do if your opponent is running an outside zone is to use a runoff route. Uh, this would be similar in concept to the way that you typically would do the C route combo. Uh, a lot of players really like the C route on the backside. Uh, this is a, a solid way to kind of throw this guy open on the sideline and get some toe tap animations. Um, so be advised on that, that that is kind of a, a similar concept. If you want to motion across this guy and use a corner post and a streak, you should have similar effect in terms of, um, you know, just how this is going to play. So. Uh, again, you're going to use Steve Smith. He'll run off the zone, which allows that double move a lot of room to get into that sideline. And you see how we can actually throw that ball in there and pick up easy gains. So if you're the type of player that really struggles a lot with your opponents dropping their outside corners and deep thirds, um, and then, you know, you don't know what to do because they're playing man on your inside options, um, just kind of be advised that this is a, a solid option for you on this play so there you guys have it that is the double move post corner this is a very underused route one thing i will leave you guys with is that this is a great route to throw at the end of the game so you've got like a third down and five you're trying to milk out the game you've got a lead your opponent is you know playing run defense um that's going to leave you isolation throws on the outside so one thing that you probably would want to do is maybe go to something gimmicky, like maybe a wing tight or a wing pair, something that is notorious for just having stretches and random runs. And your opponents are probably going to just play tight end attack as the, the primary route that you might throw. And then you could throw the ball to the outside receiver as an isolation throw for a free, basically first down and, you know, milk out a game for a win. So this is the type of throw that you, you mix in probably once or twice a game, not necessarily something that you have to base your entire offense around. In fact, I wouldn't. Uh, base your offense around a timing pattern that consistently is taking two and a half seconds. But, um, you know, if you find yourself in a position where you need something, this is probably one of the best off meta options in the game to convert a first down. So I hope you enjoyed. In so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, if you did, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. So you guys know when I upload, which the next time will be tomorrow morning. We'll see you guys then. Until then, this is Ann.
get in the lab and good luck.